Would anyone like some refreshments? We have several fine beverages available. No, thank you. I'm fine. All right. Off to a good start. Master Satil, thank you for coming. Of course. The Revanite ships have all been scattered, captured, or destroyed. Their accomplices aboard our vessels are in chains. You found a threat and given us the means to root it out. Separately, what do we have to discuss? Revan is still alive, my lord, and his plans don't stop here. The Emperor is not dead. Revan thinks he can fix that, but he's wrong, isn't he? No one person, not even Revan, can truly destroy the Emperor. If Revan wants to kill the Emperor, why are we concerned? Because he will fail, and his failure will have consequences for us all. The Emperor's current state is nebulous, incorporeal. To strike at him, Revan will first have to return him to a physical form. Which is exactly what the Emperor wants. He will destroy Revan, then move on to the rest of us. In time, he will consume all life in the galaxy. How do we prevent it? How do we stop Revan? The Emperor's hideaway is a secret, even to the Dark Council. The fourth moon of Yavin. That's where we'll find Revan. He wanted me to join him there. Never said I couldn't bring a few friends. According to our data, he still has extensive forces at his disposal. We would stand a better chance of overcoming them together. No matter what evidence I present, I doubt the Supreme Chancellor will agree to any kind of alliance or truce. Neither will the Dark Council, but my ships and the soldiers aboard them are loyal to me. I can convince my troops to maintain a truce. They've seen Revan's threat firsthand. Then we meet on Yavin 4. Agreed. Theron. We can talk on the way to Yavin. I have some business to finish here. Thank you for your help. All of you. This can't have been easy. The conspiracy is finally exposed. We've been hiding our actions from our allies for so long, it's a relief to have everything in the open. So we can talk about how you threw me to the wolves now? I made a calculated strategic decision, and it worked, as we can all see now. And if you had talked to me about it, I would have volunteered, but you didn't even give me a choice. We couldn't risk the Revanites knowing that your capture was a ploy. You had to be in the dark for the plan to work. I don't care what your excuse is, Sith. You lied to us. Do it again, and it will be the last time. I will do whatever serves our goal best. Defeating Revan must outweigh all other concerns. I think it's time we moved on. Yavin is a long way from here. Agreed. Let's get moving. It's been too long since we've really talked, Theron. Can you stay for a while? Of course. Have a safe trip to Yavin! Guess you'll think twice next time a spy asks you out for a quick chat. Wouldn't want to go through all this again. Are you kidding? This is the most fun I've had in a long time. I don't know if I'd go that far, but good company helps. I may have mentioned this before, but I've never been much of a team player. Things usually go better for me when I'm on my own. Relying on someone else has been interesting. Beginning to think I should have started a long time ago. I'm sorry you couldn't become a Jedi, Theron. You would have been a great one. Maybe so. Can't complain about the alternatives, though. Anyway, thanks. Working with you has made all this madness worthwhile. The feeling is mutual. Glad we're on the same page. Come on, let's go see what Yavin has in store for us. <laughs>